Good morning. Welcome to the spring commencement ceremony of the University of Houston, Victoria. Will the audience please be seated and remain seated during the processional. We ask that you please turn off all cell phones during the ceremony. For your safety and as a courtesy to others, Please take photos from your seating area. Thank you.
The candidates and the faculty are assembled. We may proceed with commencement exercises. Candidates, faculty, and the platform party, please be seated. Thank you, Dr. Cass. It is my pleasure to welcome you, students, families, faculty, staff, and friends to the spring 2018 commencement ceremony of the University of Houston, Victoria. Since it's Mother's Day weekend, let me wish a special welcome to all the mothers a very happy Mother's Day. Join us, today in our, join us today in our ceremony our distinguished representatives from the University of Houston system, as well as special guests and friends. I am pleased to introduce them now, and I ask them to stand as they call their name. From the University of Houston system Board of Regents, the Honorable Paula Mendoza, who was recently elected Secretary of the Board and who will bring greetings shortly, and the Honorable Neil Majala, the student regent on the board. Please be seated. I'm also happy to present to you some representatives from the President's Regional Advisory Board. This board is a group of outstanding citizens who offer the university administration wise and timely advice on many issues. Please stand while I call your names. Mr. Jack Swinson of Wharton County and Ms. Deborah Williams of Victoria County. Please be seated. Also in attendance today are a number of special guests I'd like to introduce. Please stand and be recognized as I call your names, and please hold your applause till I've introduced everyone. Ms. Sherry Clegg, representing State Senator Lois Colcourse Office. Mike and Jenny Spencer, whose daughter Sandra Marie Hogue will receive a posthumous degree this morning. It will be accepted by her son, Spencer Hogue, and the rest of Sandra Hogue's family. <laughs> UHV is fortunate to have dedicated administrators who work to help students achieve success and are a part of the President's Cabinet. Some of them are seated behind me on the stage, and I would like them to stand and be recognized at this time. Please be seated. At the heart of any university, of course, is its faculty. You have already seen and heard from a faculty representative, our Grand Marshal, Dr. Jeff Cass, Vice President of the Faculty Senate, and a professor in the School of Arts and Sciences. The Grand Marshal plays an important role in today's ceremony. Please join me in greeting Dr. Cass. Thank you, Dr. Cass. Finally, I am pleased to introduce you to my colleagues, the faculty, the people who provide the wisdom, the caring, the skills, and the knowledge that elevate and empower our graduates. Will the faculty please rise and be recognized? Please be seated. So now I would like everyone to stand as the Student Government Association President, Mr. Alvaro de la Cruz, leads us in a moment of reflection. Could everyone please take off their caps at this time? It's okay, your hair will be fine. You can put it on later. All right. On this day, a new phase of life begins for these graduates. 
So together with their families and friends gathered here, they look to the future. May they lead with confidence as they embark on their new ventures. May they respect the needs of others as they strive for their ultimate goals. May there be peace in the world and in the hearts of every man and woman. We will now offer a moment of silence for those who wish to reflect upon this day or offer thanks for this memorable time in their lives. Thank you. Please be seated. And you could put your caps on back up. Dr. R. Vic Morgan began his academic career 49 years ago as an assistant professor of, mathemat of mathematics at SMU. After a few years at SMU, he moved to Sol Ross State University in Alpine, Texas, and the Texas State University System Board of Regents appointed him president in 1990, making him the first president of Sol Ross to come from the ranks of the faculty. He served for 19 years as president before stepping down in 2009. He then served as special, special assistant to the vice chancellor and president designate of the University of North Texas at Dallas until 2010. Dr. Morgan first came to UHV in 2014 as interim president and was made president in 2016. This is his last commencement before he retires in August. Please join in welcoming me, Dr. R. Vic Morgan, the 10th president of the University of Houston, Victoria. Thank you very much. It's uh, indeed a pleasure to be with you this morning. Commencement is uh, certainly one of the most special times and most important rituals that we undertake in higher education. It's intended to honor our graduates and their dedication and accomplishments. I'm delighted to have these candidates here this morning to participate in this ceremony and to celebrate our students' achievements at UHV. As your UHV president, I want to tell you how proud I am of each and every one of you. It's a lot of work and a lot of effort, and we're excited that today has finally arrived. I tried to talk some of you into thinking about postponing this for another semester or two, but I didn't have any takers, so I guess you're ready. Your graduation is a great cause for celebration, not only for you and your family, and your friends, but also for UHV. As we celebrate you, our graduates, we are also celebrating UHV success because that's really what we're here for. That's what we're about. During the last four years, our university has grown to more than 4,300 students studying in 70 degrees and concentrations. UHV has no ethnic majority among our students. We're a Hispanic serving institution and our diverse student body now includes more than 140 international students from 26 different countries. And our faculty is equally as diverse. During the last four years, the university has added more than 60,000 square feet of space and is set to again double in size by the end of 2019. It won't be long before we open our University Commons, the new University Center and Learning Community, so that we'll have a, a new library. We'll see the construction begin on a new science, technology, engineering, and mathematics building in late June, early July of this year. 
a new residence hall that will have the name Don and Mona Smith Hall in honor of a UHV Provost Emeritus Don Smith. Construction will start on that building, 276 beds uh, in, in uh, this month. That construction will begin. And then, of course, the former Town Plaza Mall. The uh, renovation of that should begin this summer as well. So, we have also grown in Katy. The UH system is breaking ground on a new 80,000 square foot building in Katy later this month that will house our degree programs offered by both UHV and the University of Houston. UHV is now part of the Houston Guided Pathways to Success, a collaboration between two and four year institutions to try to improve uh, the uh, higher education completion dates across the entire Gulf Coast region. In A&S, we've had numerous grants and was the, uh, was the uh, recipient of the Regents Excellence Award for our uh, American Book Review. We began our nursing program. We have one of the highest possible success rates for passing the Texas State Teachers Examination. And finally, as part of the last four years, we've developed a lot of traditions that we will celebrate uh, in many years to come. Uh, we have developed a hand sign, for those of you that remember that. We've developed a class ring. The students did that. Both of those were student inventions. And then today, for the first time, we'll celebrate by singing the alma mater, which was also a student-initiated activity. These are all traditions that you'll remember and carry forward throughout your life and career. We thank you very much for joining us for your academic uh, journey. And uh, as you know, we appreciate all that you do and all that you will do to carry the name Jaguars into the future on behalf of UHV. It's a great time to be a Jaguar. Go Jags. <laughs> it's now my privilege to invite the Honorable Paula Mendoza, Secretary of the UH System Board of Regents, to bring greetings on behalf of the Regents. Good morning, everyone. I thank you for allowing us to be here with you to share in this incredible and memorable moment for you all. I'm here to bring greetings on behalf of the entire University of Houston System Board of Regents, my fellow Regent, Regent Mutiala, and of course, on behalf of the other students, faculty, staff of our three sister institutions, the University of Houston, University of Houston Clear Lake, and University of Houston Downtown. Graduates, we were walking amongst you all earlier, and your excitement is very evident here. And I know it's a tradition at UHV. It's one of the many attributes that makes this university so incredibly special. I know that each of you have worked hard, and believe me, I know the sacrifices that you've had to endure to be where you are this very moment. Just a few minutes away, you'll be receiving your degrees. Congratulations. I also think it's very important to congratulate the faculty and staff who have helped guide you along the way. And of course, as you can see, a packed house here, your friends and families and parents who supported you and encouraged you along the way. I know that UHV has prepared you. Most importantly, not just to compete, but to be leaders. We need leaders in our communities, in the state, and in our government. I know in my heart that you will go out and make a difference. 
Your time here, I hope, has been exceptional, rewarding, and again, although sometimes, judging by my own experiences at this, as a student at UHD, it wasn't easy. We salute you for staying the course and crossing the finish line, just like it was for me just a few years back. <laughs> it's a time for you to go into the world and make a difference. The skills, the education, and the knowledge that I gained at UH Downtown were the foundation for my personal and my professional success. Like I hope your education and the knowledge you've received here at UHV will be for yours. Be optimistic. I know sitting here, you already have an optimistic view. I do believe and I know that you can achieve any goal that you set out for yourselves. Importantly, stay connected to your alma mater, no matter where you might end up. Remember UHV and those that will follow. I assure you, just by some of the things that the president has mentioned to you about what's happening, that UHV will continue to add value to the diploma that you're receiving during your lifetime. Most importantly, remember that your family comes first. I think you all got tickets to be here, so some of your family and friends may not have been able to join you today. Remember them, thank them. Your family is important, so take prior when you think about your priorities, make sure that they're at the top of the list. I wanna take just a second to thank President Morgan. I was here as a regent when he came on at UHV, and I know the wonderful things that he has done for this university. We hate to see him go, but glad that he's good and healthy for a retirement. And so we appreciate what you've done for us. Thank you so much. So we welcome you graduates, each and every one of you as a valued alumni of UH Victoria. And I'm gonna try this. Congratulations, go Jaguars. Thank you, Regent Mendoza. We are honored that you're here with us today. And I'll have to tell you that Regent Mendoza has been one of the most faithful regents to join us at ceremonies and events at UHV of uh, any regent that I know. So thank you. I'd like to uh, talk for just a minute or so about what's important in life. And then, guess what, graduates? I have one last quiz for you. You thought you were through, but we're going to have one last final exam this morning. I grew up in a very small, small town. And one of the things about living in a small town is that when you're a young person and you're out and about, even if you don't know what you're doing, Somebody does, and they'll tell your parents before you get home. And that was the way I grew up. Some of you have heard me tell stories about my high school rank and my uh, difficulty or problems in getting into college and then making it in college. And I share those experiences with students for two reasons, really. First, to let you know that everything you do is an experience that will be useful to you, if for no other reason than for use in speeches such as this, or to serve as a bad example for somebody else to use in speeches such as this. So that you'll know that in the word, the second reason, so that you'll know in the words of that famous philosopher, Yogi Berra, my future was ahead of me. And guess what? Your future is ahead of you. And it's bright and promising because of your graduation today from UHB. As you may have guessed with an educator for a speaker, uh, I do want to give you an exam. And as I said, you thought you were through. This type of test was developed by a man by the name of Charles Schultz. If that name doesn't ring a bell, you may have seen some of the uh, peanuts cartoons. 
He had some sage advice for a young man by the name of Charlie Brown in one of his cartoon features. He said, worrying won't stop the bad stuff from happening, but it does keep you from enjoying the good stuff. So you need to put worry behind you. It's all gonna work out all right. The quiz I'm gonna give you was designed by Schultz, and it was designed to put your life kind of in perspective. And all you need to do is think about the answers. I'm not gonna pass out a sheet of paper and ask you to write them down and turn them in. And I'm certainly not going to grade them before we give you your diplomas today. But I want you to think about the answers to these few questions. I want you to name the five wealthiest people in the world. I want you to name the last three Heisman Trophy winners. Name the last five winners of the Miss America contest. Name the last 10 people who have won a Pulitzer or Nobel Prize. Name the last half a dozen Academy Award winners for Best Actor or Best Actress. You got those answers? How did you do? Huh? Did you make 100? Did you make an A? Pretty hard, wasn't it? The point of this None of you remembers many of the headliners of yesterday. By the way, these are not second-rate achievers. These are the top people in their fields at the given time. But the applause dies, awards tarnish, achievements are forgotten, accolades and certificates, with rare exceptions, are buried with their owners. Now let's look at the second part of the test. Can you think of who some of the teachers or faculty members who aided you or encouraged you through your journey in high school or college? Name three friends who've helped you through a tough time. Name three people you'd be willing to help if they have a problem, if you're asked, or maybe even help if you're not asked. Think of a few people who've made you feel appreciated and special. Think of five people you enjoy spending time with. Did the quiz get easier? Did you make an A on that one? Do you have those people in your lives? I'm certain you do, we all do. It's certainly easier. The lesson here is that the people who make a difference in our lives are not the ones with the most credentials, the most money, or the most awards. They're the ones who care, the ones who are there when we need help, or whom we can help. And they are the people who love us, not for who we are, but how we make them feel and how they make us feel. You know, today, you've got an awful lot of those people in the stands behind you. And I'd like for you to take just a moment, stand up and turn around and face those friends and family and give them a round of applause for their support. Please be seated. These folks are truly the people who have made a difference in your lives. And you, uh, we appreciate them and we appreciate you. I want to wish you the very best in your future. Cinderella may have gone to the ball, but she had a lot of help to get there, just as you had a lot of help to get to this point today. And that's what your teachers and your family and your friends and others have done to help you achieve this point today. You are each one, one of our original and most important renewable resources. You represent the quality of our future. 
And what you do will make a difference in my future, in your future, and the future of everyone in the community, the state, and the nation. Again, congratulations and best wishes. I look forward to giving you your uh, diplomas shortly. Thank you for going on your journey with us. Dr. Morgan, will you come back to the podium, please? A donation was made in your honor with the installation of an engraved paver near your office in the University Center building at the University of Houston, Victoria campus. It will read, in honor of Dr. R. Vic Morgan, UHV president, 2014 to 2018. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for the privilege of being with you and serving. To honor our commitment to teaching, research, and service, we select faculty each spring to re receive special awards. Please stand when I call your name. The first award, the Teaching Excellence Award, goes to a faculty member who, among many fine teachers, has earned special respect from both students and faculty. It's my pleasure to acknowledge this year's honoree, Dr. Justin Bell, Director of the Honors Program and an associate. <laughs> Dr. Bell is also an Associate Professor of Philosophy in the School of Arts and Sciences. Congratulations. The university also recognizes a faculty member who has earned special respect from peers for research and scholarly activities. I'm ha happy to acknowledge this year's recipient of the Research and Scholarly Activity Excellence Award, Dr. Mark Ward, an Associate Professor of Communication in the School of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Ward. To honor commitment to service, the university recognizes a faculty member who makes a significant, positive contribution to the community. It is my pleasure to recognize this year's recipient of the Distinguished Faculty Service Award, Dr. Catherine Bacon, an Assistant Professor of Counselor Education. Dr. Bacon is an assistant professor of counselor education in the School of Education, Health Professions, and Human Development. Congratulations to all the faculty award recipients. <laughs> UHV has many outstanding students, but those graduating with honors have shown special dedication to their studies and I am pleased to recognize them this morning. Graduates graduating cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude are wearing gold braids over their robes, and their names are listed in your program along with the explanation of what each honor means. Would all the candidates for honors please stand and be recognized. Congratulations. Please be seated. Next, I would like to call your attention to student members of academic honors societies. These students are wearing co cords or stoles to indicate membership in these societies, which are listed in your programs as well. Would all the student members of these honor societies please stand and be recognized? Please be seated. You may also have noticed that a number of graduates are wearing red, white, and blue intertwined graduation cords, 
we call these our Patriot Chords. Patriot Chords because they're veterans of the U.S. Armed Forces. At this time, we ask that all graduating veterans, as well as any other veterans in the building, please stand and be recognized. UHV Victoria thanks and salutes you for your service to our country. Please be seated. We have also with us graduating international students who are proudly wearing a sash of their country of citizenship. UHV is honored to have 16 international students from seven countries represented at our two commencement ceremonies today. International students are those enrolled at UHV on an F or J student visa status. Please stand and be recognized. Please be seated. In addition, we have some special members of the UHV class of 2018 who are wearing Jaguar Spirit Chords. These gener generous students are participating in our JAGS Give Back program. We appreciate their support of UHV. Please stand and be recognized. Please be seated. Finally, I would like to recognize the outstanding students for the spring semester selected by the Schools of Arts and Sciences, Education, Health Professions, and Human Development. These students were chosen based on their academic record and related achievements. A complete list of all the outstanding students for the spring is in your program. Please hold your applause until all the students are recognized. Will the following students please stand? In the School of Arts and Sciences, Luz Maria Alcacira, outstanding graduate student, and Ashley Yaz, outstanding undergraduate student. Please be seated. And in the School of Education, Health Professions and Human Development, Sarah Bitterly Rutherford, outstanding graduate student. And, and Diana Nazareth Ramirez, outstanding undergraduate student. We will now present the candidates for degrees. The candidates for degrees in the School of Arts and Sciences will be presented by the Dean, Dr. Jeffrey DeLeo. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Applied Arts and Sciences, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies, Master of Fine Arts, Master of Science, and Specialist in School Psychology, please rise. <laughs> On behalf of the faculty, I present these candidates as having fulfilled the requirements for the designated degrees and recommend that the appropriate degrees be conferred. Will the candidates please be seated? The candidates for degrees in the School of Education, Health Professions, and Human Development will be presented by the Dean, Dr. Fred Lydon. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, and the Master of Education please rise?
On behalf of the faculty, I present these candidates as having fulfilled the requirements for the designated degrees and recommend that the appropriate degrees be conferred. Please remain standing. Will the candidates for all degrees please rise? Will the faculty and the platform party please rise? President Morgan, it is my honor to present to you these degree candidates who are students in good standing with the University of Houston, Victoria, and have completed all requirements for their respective degrees as set forth by the faculty and the university. I recommend that these degrees be conferred. Thank you, Dr. Cockrum and deans. Well, students, it's here. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Captured in this moment are a lot of hours and weeks and months and years of preparation, getting ready for this moment. So, if you would, take just one moment to again reflect on the time investment and your hard work and hard-won accomplishments. By the authority vested in me by the state of Texas, and on behalf of the faculty of the School of Arts and Sciences and the School of Education, Health Professions, and Human Development, I now confer upon each of you and upon those graduating in absentia, your respective degrees, with all rights, honors, and privileges thereto pertaining. Congratulations on your achievements. Please be seated. Audience members, you're welcome to take photos of your graduate when it is his or her turn to walk in front of the stage, but please take all photos from your seating area. We will announce degrees by schools. Dr. Mark Ward will announce for Arts and Sciences, and Dr. Joanne Olson for Education, Health Professions, and Human Development. I would like to invite Regent Mendoza and Regent Mutiala to join Dr. Morgan in extending congratulations to our graduates. We will now have the presentation of the spring 2018 graduating class. Will the faculty marshals please assist the graduates? It's now my privilege to announce the names of those receiving bachelor's degrees from the School of Arts and Sciences. Sebastian Amos Bosus. <laughs> Princeller Ann Bradley. Patrick Joseph Charleston, summa cum laude. <laughs> Catherine Aubrey Ferguson, magna cum laude. Holly V. Gregory.
Judy Louise Hoffman, cum laude. Ethan Krauss, magna cum laude. Mariella Pilar Lara. Deanne Mandy Lopez, cum laude. Uva Meyer, magna cum laude. Tam Hugh Wynn. Victoria Elizabeth Pfeffer, magna cum laude. Rohana Pacheco, magna cum laude. Quinton K. Schul. Javarin Bruce Thomas, cum laude. Carolina Anna Virial. Christina Chavarria. <laughs> Kyle Wayne Davison Gordon. Claudia Nicole DeLuna. Justine Fereles. Galen Danit Frankie, summa cum laude. Brittany Michelle Gleinser Baker, a UHV employee. Vanessa N. McLean. Victor David Ninke III. Sandra Taylor O'Byrne. Jessica Natalie Ramirez. Jeremy Paul Saldivar. Regina Renee Schneider. Bridget Blair Streetle. Erica Marie Troncoso, magna cum laude. Montane S. Turner. Christian Tan Vu. Regina. Regina Monique Williams. Ricky Lee Worthington. Yeah. 
Samantha Renee Ibarra. Victoria Elizabeth Ariaga. Alajamoke Elizabeth Awe. Miranda Celeste Beaver. Michelle Nicole Blair, cum laude. Kiana Marie Blanquez. Cody James Bohm, magna cum laude. Emily K. Broad, cum laude. Bobby Joe Brogdon. Sarah Brown. Alea Jade Cantu. Elizabeth Cardoza, a UHV employee. Janie Charles. Alexandria Cisneros, cum laude. Kaylee Renee Sanchez Cones. Oscar E. Correas. Genesis Alexia Carora. <laughs> Kayla Danielle Crum, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kathy Michelle Crumpler, summa cum laude. Valeria A. Cruz. Antonio Ponce de Leon. Tracy Diaz de Leon. Sofia Espinosa. Victoria Morgan Farrell. Rachel Nicole Fox, cum laude. Mia in Gallegos. Adriana Garza. Joseph Rene Gonzalez. Jade Lauren Ashley Hayes. Thanks, 
Shelly Marie Henserling. Georgia Grace Hennessy. <laughs> Beatrice M. Hernandez. Lori Ann Hernandez. Samantha R. Hetherington. <laughs> Megan Ann Hilms. <laughs> Brian Dwayne Hogan, magna cum laude. Alexander Joseph Innes. Eric Germain Jackson, Sr. Lauren Christine Calcomy. Varun Conchala. <laughs> Brian Andrew Lacerda. <laughs> Yahira Lara. Robert Carlos Laredo. Sarah Maratali. Stephanie Vaught Lowe. Write your story in the paper. Diana Laura Maldonado. <laughs> Paula Patricia Martinez. <laughs> Jacqueline Marie Medina. Daniel Leslie Michellis. Alexandra L. Mouton. <laughs> Ashley Lauren Nanton, magna cum laude. Scarlett Perez. <laughs> Valeria Alejandra Parnia. Andrew Paul Palasic. Angel Marie Raider. <laughs> Cynthia Rodriguez. <laughs> Jury Araceli Rodriguez. Jackie Louise Rosales, cum laude. <laughs> 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 
Sonia Nicole Rosales. Jill Ruche Runnels, cum laude. Deanna Sue Rutherford. Natalia Salinas. Cody Dwayne Shugart. <laughs> Crystal Lavelle Scarlett. Simone R. Smith. Suhey Aglayan Solis. Junior. Christopher J. Stevens, Jr. Andrea Maria Sturza. Alec Matthew Thompson, cum laude. Christian E. Vazquez. Giselle Villarreal. Kimberly Willett Johnson. Gabrielle M. Williams. Devin Brooke Wood. Ashley Yaws, magna cum laude and the outstanding undergraduate student in the School of Arts and Sciences. Diana Zamudio. Alfonso Gilberto Urbano. It's now my privilege to announce those receiving master's degrees from the School of Arts and Sciences, beginning with Mohsen Muhammad Ali Charanya. <laughs> Paula Lynn Cobbler, a UHV employee. Sri Sandhya Kona. <laughs> Mohammed Abdul Jawad Malik. Yusavia Miller. <laughs> Loveth Osamagvi Ohenen. <laughs> 
Simon Okosin. Charles Aloatosin Omayali. Isela Denise Acosta. Sanya Ali. Abby L. Binish. Angel Joan Fisher. <laughs> Awarded posthumously to Sandra Marie Hogg. Representing her and accepting for her is her son, Spencer Hogg. Kelsey Jade Schudemann. Latoya Shante Thomas. Andrea Celeste Campbell. It is now my privilege to uh, read the names of those graduating with bachelor's degrees from the School of Education, Health Professions, and Human Development. Michaela Ann Dentler, summa cum laude. <laughs> Catherine Ann Gonzalez. Rachel Margaret Hammond, summa cum laude. Autumn Destiny Salis. Christine Dawn Sewell, magna cum laude. Peter Stephen Vega. Amanda Nicole Blaylock. Brooke Ashley Diane Boykin, summa cum laude. Darian K. Bubinick, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jessica Bueno Rodriguez, summa cum laude.
Yesenia Karina Gomez. Bree Faye Burgess. <laughs> Alyssa Michelle Cano, summa cum laude. <laughs> Ashley Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Danielle Elise Hunsucker, magna cum laude. <laughs> Mujibur Hyatt Khan. <laughs> Destiny C. Lucio, cum laude. Krista Colleen McElroy. <laughs> Melissa Eileen McFarlane. Elia Montes. Minda Danielle Morton, magna cum laude. Vicki Samantha Niemeyer, summa cum laude. Shelby K. Norwood. Princess Odom. <laughs> Diana Nazareth Ramirez, magna cum laude, and the outstanding undergraduate student for the School of Health Professions, Education Health Professions and Human Development. <laughs> Lillian Ortiz Ramirez, summa cum laude. Eni M. Rosa Gomez, magna cum laude. Nancy Jeanette Shelton, cum laude. Amber Nicole Shupak. Goldie Marie Newton Sonier, cum laude. Kimberly Marie Varela, summa cum laude. Kelsey Nicole Walters. Malays Lynn Williams, summa cum laude. Christine Pena Zapata. It is now my privilege to announce the names of those receiving master's degrees from the School of Education, Health Professions, and Human Development. Shauna Marie Andrews. <laughs> Ulysses M. Barahona. Tara Lee Nicole Barnett.
Regina Renee Basinger. Amanda Raul Cantu. Kimberly Champion. Ashley Elaine Cook. Juan Jaime Cruz. Natasha T. Curtis. <laughs> Diane DeCluet Dabney. Mario Flores. Kelsey Nicole Gurner. Douglas Gonzalez. Valerie M. Hang. Jordan Elizabeth Harrison. Catherine Castillo Hernandez. Shauna Holder. <laughs> Joanne R. Innocente. Aletha Jacobs. Noemi Adriana Casamea. Cameron Michelle Kitchen. Amanda Ashley Ochoa. <laughs> Ashley Morgan Pennerwood. Mary Leah Perrett. Woo! 
Lisa Latore Phillips. <laughs> Stephanie Jeanette Rodenberg Lewis. Katina N. Rudley. Yeah. Sarah Marie Rutherford, outstanding graduate student for the School of Education, Health Professions, and Human Development. Denise Ann Salazar. <laughs> Sebeka Husseini Zayed. <laughs> Megan Ann Slovacic. Jason Stanley. <laughs> Elliot Sung. Ashley Elizabeth Server. <laughs> Leticia Oregon Viegas. <laughs> Elva Melissa Waits. Tashia Nishay Walker. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Weinstein, UHV employee. Eve Suzanne Whiteside. Krista Brianne Wilkinson. Would the graduates please rise? At, 
At this point in our ceremony, it is customary and appropriate for bachelor's recipients to move their tassel on their mortarboard from the right to the left to signify to signify that they are now the recipients of a degree of higher learning. If you are wearing a UHV class ring, you also may turn your ring so the seal faces away from you. Congratulations again to all of our degree recipients and welcome to the Company of Educated Persons. You may be seated. It is now our pleasure to induct this graduated class into the alumni of the University of Houston, Victoria, now more than 19,000 strong. I would like to invite Mr. Randy Vivian, a UHV alumnus and president and CEO of the Victoria Chamber of Commerce, to induct the spring 2018 graduating class. Mr. Vivian earned a Bachelor of Science in 1993 from UHV. <clears throat> well, good morning. I don't know if you can tell, but right now, everybody on this dais is holding their breath because there is no guarantee that I will stay on script. But I did promise Dr. Morgan, since it is his last commencement at UHV, that I would stay on script, so I'm going to. <laughs> well, good morning. Dr. Morgan, faculty and staff, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, and finally, the class of 2018. Congratulations. What an exciting day. Hold those degrees up. Hold them up. I know each of you has worked long and hard for this day to, uh, to arrive. I remember um, sitting exactly where you are in 19... Uh -huh. <clears throat> Waiting for my name to be called. As a graduate of the University of Houston, Victoria, my degree has opened doors that never would have been opened without it. I stand before you, a former and recovering politician, <laughs> the former CEO of a regional company, and now president and CEO of the Victoria Chamber of Commerce. My education from the University of Houston, Victoria has been the catalyst that has given me the ability to succeed in the things that life has thrown me. Without my education, I would not be the man I am today. My brother Danny and I are both graduates of UHV, along with my wife Cynthia and my oldest daughter Claire. I come from a family that values education. I have passed that on to my children and they will pass it on to theirs. I wanted to take a minute and share with you six things that I learned during my time at UHV that have served me well in my job and my life. These six things have guided me in the decisions that I make and that I continue to make today. First is always tell the truth. If you're not truthful, you can't build trust and thus you can't build strong relationships. Relationships are what make life rich. Second, be caring. I would rather be known as the guy that will give you the shirt off his back than a guy that is friend in name only. Third, respect others. Every person has a gift or a skill that you don't. For no other reason, you need to respect them for that. Fourth, be responsible for what you do. If you do it, own it. It's usually not the incident that gets people in trouble. It's the cover-up. Fifth, be brave enough to do the right thing and to ask for help when you need it. Doing the right thing is never wrong, even when the crowd thinks it is. 
remember what I, what I said about relationships. Most of the time, it takes stronger character to reach out instead of reaching in. And finally, have fun. If you can't have fun and laugh, is it really worth the time? I'm known for a couple of things, and one of them is my sock collection. I own well over 100 pairs of socks, interesting socks. Remember, have fun in life, and always remember this. It's all right to wear crazy socks, just match them with your tie. And never forget that you're part of a larger network of alumni. The contacts you make through the university can aid you in your life and your career. But don't forget it, use it. I've mentioned that life is about relationships. Building your career is about networking. A recent study showed that today's graduates will change jobs an average of seven times in his or her career. The stronger your network, the more success you will have along your chosen career path. So now I confer unto you. You are representatives in your chosen fields and in your communities. Your strength of the alumni and the university depends on the strength of all of you. The university will be your gateway to a fuller and more meaningful life. The alumni join you in your pledge of service to the end that as alumni together, you may continue to grow in service to our great university, our great community, and our great nation. I congratulate you, the class of 2018. Go Cougs. Or go, oh, I'm sorry, go Jaguar. Woo! Thank you, Randy. Graduates, I want to endorse his message. We invite you to become active alumni and to keep close ties to your alma mater. You join many other alumni who are in the audience or on stage today. In fact, I would like to ask all UHV alumni to please stand. Graduates, you are now alumni. Please stand. And now that you're all standing, I invite UHV student Cassie Cameron to the lectern to lead all alumni in the singing of the new UHV alma mater for the first time at commencement. The alma mater was a student government association-led initiative that we unveiled to our faculty, staff, and students a little over a week ago. She will sing the new alma mater once by herself so you can hear how it goes, and then we invite everyone to sing along. You'll find the words on page six of your commencement program. Cassie.
And now we'd like you to sing it with us. Please be seated. <laughs> that sounded great. Thank you, Cassie. The honor alma mater is a great new tradition here at UHV, which we will sing at all commencements from now on, and you can say you were at the first. So congratulations again. It takes many people to plan and organize a commencement ceremony. I would like to thank the staff who made this all possible. Your hard work is much appreciated. And of course, thanks to all of our special guests for being with us today. And let me say to the graduates, we are proud of you and your accomplishments. We know many of you have overcome numerous challenges to make it to this day. We salute you. I wish you every happiness and much success in the years ahead. Remember, in the words of French-American historian Jacques Barzon, the test and use of a man's education is that he finds pleasure in the exercise of his or her mind. Our goal has not only been to educate you, but also to show you the importance of lifelong learning. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us at the commencement ceremony of the University of Houston, Victoria. I will now turn the, pretty, the proceedings over to Dr. Cass, our Grand Marshal. Thank you, Dr. Cochram. Congratulations, graduates. Following the recessional, the spring commencement ceremony for UHV will stand adjourned. Will everyone please remain seated during the recessional of the President's party and graduates.